I want to share with you how I did the text in this layout to make it look uh, more 3D, the uh, title. And um, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And I have here a copy of the text down here at the bottom already handy to use. It, and um, we've done this several times before in many of the tutorials, but um, we're going to do it again. Um, hold down the control key and click on the thumbnail in the layers palette to get the, those marching ants around the text. I'm going to create a new layer and we're going to make a border around that, that text. The edit drop down menu, stroke, and I'm using five pixels. Of course, you know, you can vary these settings uh, to play around to get your own effects. And I've got a red color chosen to match my layout, and I've chosen a location of inside. I'm going to click OK. And there you can see the border. Control D to deselect. And now uh, the, for the simple uh, easy, fun technique that we're going to be adding. If you go to your bevel effects and choose the one that says simple emboss. Uh, before we do that, I'm going to make sure I am on the border layer as the active layer and just apply that simple emboss and you can see magically you have 3D text now. Um, if you want, click on this FX, open it up, and you can see what happens when you move the slider. It also gives it more of a, a bubbly look if you move that uh, the size of the bevel up, and I kind of like that look, so I'm going to click OK. But you can just play around until you get some kind of cool effect. And there you go. That's as simple as it is to get that um, alphabet to look a little bit more 3D. I want to point out, if you notice, um, just something simple about this layout. The text down here has a white bottom with a red border. And up here I reversed it. It has a red bottom with a white border. and. Um, uh, another thing I want to point out is, let's say I go down to my background layers. If I take off this background layer and I have a very dark background, you can see how the letters um, look on that background raised up. It gives a whole new look. So, um, uh, you know, this may or may not be good depending on what kind of background you're using and what uh, what look that you're going for. Because uh, I think it actually looked better on the white background because you could see the shadows in the white a little bit better. And so that's just an, something I observed that you may want to uh, um, to look at when you're when you're using this technique. And so I sure hope to see you doing this technique uh, on the layout. And please do share it right here in the forums with us. Um, uh, and let's all have fun learning together.